Some people refer to Nigeria as a giant of Africa. Some people actually even say Nigeria is a sleeping giant. Uh, one thing about big animals that sleep, like the elephant, uh, when they do wake up, they run very fast and go very far. A land of plenty. A land with resources of good soil, water, minerals. It is the most populous black country in the world and it's the largest GDP in Africa. The numbers just work very well for this country. 180 million strong. The country is right to take its rightful place as a leading nation globally. We are going to take control of Africa, there is no doubt about that. And then we are going to confront the world. I think the country's greatest strength is not what's in the ground, but what's above it. It's the people. We are very happy people. We are very compassionate people. In our madness and everything, we are very friendly people too. It's a feeling. The only way that you can understand is to come here and experience it. There's just so much life, there's so much optimism, so much hope. So we are quite productive, we are quite energetic, quite industrious. We do have dignity, we have self-pride. The upbringing and the social values are quite strong. We invest a lot in education. There is a future for every child born in this country. Every child. Nigerians are hopeful. Nigerians are great people to relate with. Nigerians are talented, hardworking, educated, intelligent, smart, ready to take on the world. No matter what the actual outcome is, the troubles, the strife that literally Nigerians face all the time, we always seem to try and persevere. We don't give up. There's always a Nigerian in one part of the world who is doing something great, regardless of their circumstances. No matter the pressures, no matter the odds, Nigerians keep on moving. The ability of people to get up and keep going, you can't find it anywhere. Our relentless need to succeed you know, it's just part of our, our ethos as Nigerians that, you know, if it's possible, we're going to do it. What makes us really unique is our culture, our music, our style. Niger style is flamboyant, eccentric more often than not always trying to stand out. You are very loud. When you see a Nigerian, you know. Nigeria has one of the strongest art scene. We have a lot of vibrant artists who are working, who are experimenting, who are every day coming up with one idea or the other. Crazy ideas, really. Photography, painting, sculpture, fashion. The amount of creativity here is massive, it's huge. Always something new, I'm seeing something interesting. I'm from Nigeria, but sometimes I feel quite a shock. Everything is here. Tourism, culture, food, fashion, music, entertainment. I feel like right now Nigeria is like the hub of the world. It's a very multicultural place. I love to go to the beaches, there are private beaches, they're beautiful, there's great food all over, and then you do have nightlife like, like nowhere else in the world. The natural energy is, um, I don't know, crazy, never stops, never a dull moment, everywhere there's always something to do. This is like the jungle. The population of Nigeria is more than 50% of the population of the entire West Africa. The GDP of Nigeria is more than half of the GDP of the entire West Africa. In fact, the GDP of Lagos is bigger than the GDP of any other West African country. 20% of the African population is sitting in one country. So if you are going to do business in Africa, you cannot ignore Nigeria. 
This is a market where we have over 100% mobile phone penetration. Everybody speaks English. It's a highly trainable population. Anybody who is looking to have a viable company needs to position themselves in the largest growing market in the world. The ease of doing business has been promoted in Nigeria. That is why foreign direct investment is going on. The rule of law has been improved. Ease of doing business has been improved. There is quite a lot of uh, digitization going on. Ability to do banking on the phone, ability to have access to global markets. And therefore, the average Nigerian has greater opportunities. This is a very good time to invest in Nigeria. And Nigerian people are very entrepreneurial. They work hard and given the right environment and framework, they can achieve a lot. It's right, it's time to create partnerships and to meet people on the ground and to change the conception because until you've been here, you have no idea. No other place in the world will you go where you will find everyone is an entrepreneur, everyone is hustling and everyone is ready, whatever sort of education or whatever sort of access. People here are hungry. There's a can-do attitude, which means you, you can literally get anything done around here. And it's a fantastic place for ideas to germinate. Creative people tend to flourish, you know, places where you see opportunities, but you also see challenges. I'm very excited about the future of this country. We have the people, we have the hunger, and putting all that together with the right hard work, we can definitely dominate the world space. Innovation, technology, business, commerce, you all just watch and see. Well, I think um, our uniqueness relies on living together, speaking almost 350 dialects. We're made up of so many tribes, just from the north to the south to the east. It's um, a very diverse country with a lot of history and tradition from the Edo tribes down to the Hausa and the Nok traditions up in the north. So we have our speech, we have our identity and our language and our culture and it's so beautiful. There's a lot for people to come and learn about Nigeria that hasn't been learned yet. Exciting times ahead. Nigeria is one of the world's best kept secrets in terms of business, in terms of tourism, in terms of potential. Nigerians must tell their own stories. There's so much beauty in Nigeria, entrepreneurship, incredible art. Let's show the beauty of Africa, let's show the culture that we have, let's show the beautiful places that exist. Don't believe the negative press that you see outside. Nigeria is one of the best places to live in the world. There's something about the country in Nigeria that when you come, you don't want to go back. It diversity, it colors, it energy, it's passion. We're a nation that's strongly rooted in our beliefs, praying and hoping for a better tomorrow. So I feel like that's a word that strongly associates with Nigeria, hope. One day, things will get better, as they say. What I hope for Nigeria is for Nigeria to fulfill its mission. Its mission of being the leader and the driver and the promoter of the development of Africa. We have the largest population of black race in the world. So we have responsibility for our own country, for our 
Africa, some region of West Africa, for our continent, and indeed for the world. But I'm excited that there are young people who are forward thinking, who are progressive, who are interested in having this country steered in the right direction. The numbers are there, the goodwill is there, the people are there. You know, we're set for greatness. It's the reemergence of a strong country led by strong people who just want to fight for this country. That's a new, that's a new beginning.